Hi, welcome to the next tutorial series of character rigging. In this tutorial series, we'll try to work on creating our own rig. Uh, it can be termed as an intermediate level of character rigging, but still, we'll learn a lot of advanced features which we can adapt later words in for advanced character rigging. Right? So these are the two basic characters which I model using uh, my old tutorials. If you check here, this is the basic like human modeling low poly. This is the basic mesh. Using the base mesh, I did created this character and this character. This is a witch doctor and this is normal <laughs> soldier or something else. If you check my display, heads up display, poly count. You can check here this character has got 16 27 polygons overall and this has got 3168 because it has got a lot of feathers and all things i can remove all those things but just i used a box for this thing i should have used something else okay but overall this is uh, things a uh, characters i'll use my character this one I'll switch on polycart. In this tutorial, we'll try to create the joints. And then in coming next series, we'll try to work on renaming, orientation, gradually working on the leg controls, hand controls, the spine, and further on. And later words, I'll try to add how to do the facial rig later words, which we can be link, which can we can link it to the main character. Now come back to the side view, check your pose, this is the character. The best feature of 2014 which I really like, which previous versions I used to use at different programs, but right now we got this thing called Grease Pencil. You can click on this one, click on Pencil Plus, so you can start drawing. If you see here, this will be at this point, is your center of your body. Or we can say hip portion. And, ah, the the worst part of this one is that you can't move it because you are drawing on a different screen. Or so this is your leg joints. Okay. I'm just using my mouse with so the and I I can join like this. This will be your spine. This will be your clavicles, and it goes on. Right. Now here. I'll create one more joint down for the root so I can use all these things so using this reference I can start working on it but if you check here I'll just delete this one on the side view the leg goes like this can you see it goes straight down like this so what you need to do is that I'll try to work on a little bit of bend like this okay can you see some bend here this is how we follow all right now delete it close this one more tool this is a cat now in animation we got one thing called skeleton joints you can use here or you can use these joints so what I'll do is right now I'll go to the skeleton joint tool I'll create here one joint one for knee one for ankle this will be the ball joint and toe if you check here i did place my joints exactly at the edge loops or something else where it gives the more freedom for me to work on that i so that i can form i won't face any problems now the next part is that if you check here i want to move this joint a little bit inside if I start moving it, can you see this is a problem? So to avoid this problem, if you just hold D, D, it changes into the pivot mode, but you can move this joint like this. Right? Now I'm happy with this position. Now come back to the front view. I'll move it side. If you check here, I want these joints like this, so rotate. Okay? But never ever rotate the joints so what I'll do I'll just move these joints like this 
hold D move it a little bit inside I'm happy with this position now select this joint hold D move it alright I'm happy with this one so I'm happy with this joint now come back to the side view create a joints for the root and the spine here what I'll do is that I'll create a joint here this is the root and from here this this is where my spine is here that is the center of mass of the main character it's somewhere here I'll uh, here one more addition is that let's take I didn't create one more joint still is that if I hold middle mouse button I can move it wherever I want it this is my root and then here I'm adding joints some good decent number of joints here then neck joint head here what I'll do I'll try to create one more joint here and joint click and select this joint so that this will be just to create a feeling of a face okay now if you come back to the front view you can clearly see this one here and this is your hips this is your hips this is your left leg this is your root right now we'll create the hand joints we'll learn something new once again so create a joint sorry I'll create a clavicle joint here something here this is the shoulder if you come here I can use middle mouse button just to push it inside a little bit on and then a hand one more here sorry backspace it should be here I'll change this thing points now one more here enter I'll adjust this one so first I'll display animation joint size I'll decrease the size to some point five so that they are small now this joint hold D move it inside here so that and I'll move it a little bit back this one a little bit forward it has some angle here right now come back to the front view see if your joint is something which I, I really don't really like it so I'll just select this joint hold D move it down now I like it this is a hand joint this is a clavicle joint We'll link, we'll parent it later words. Now we'll create a finger joints. So how I do the finger joints is that select the joint, click on this joint, so it will get activated. One here. Okay. Here and here. Enter. Come back to the side view. This is uh, this finger. Now come back here. Hold D, move it down, move it down, and down. This is perfect. Now select this joint. If you hold Control D, Control D is duplicate, and move it like this, and come back here. This will be this surface. Okay, here this is the joint. So select this joint hold D move it inside page up hold D move it right now this is if you come back to the perspective view you can see here there's a problem so I'll select this edge you can see this is the edge 
so I need to select this surface this joint okay what I did was that I just change the different joints page up D now this joint is perfect right check it out be careful uh, one small mistake will be moving some of the joints right now come back here control D move it side next joint hold D move it inside next joint I'm using the up and down arrows to move the joints here now I'll select this last one control D move it side this looks okay but you know you have to move it a little bit up here hold D I just tested whether I'm using the wrong joints or not. Now that's perfect. Now come back to the top view. Control D, move it here. Okay. Move it down. Down. Hold D. 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 If you zoom in here, you can clearly see these joints. Hello, move it here, page down. That's it. The joints are inside the finger. If you want to tweak it a little bit, you can tweak it. And select this joint. I don't want this to be controlled with this main power or something else. So select the joint, hold shift, this joint, P. I just moved this joint from here to this location. Okay? P is for player again. Now overall right now we got the joints. Now select the leg hip joint, leg joint and select shift. This joint, not the first joint, this joint. Parent it. This joint, I'll select this one. I'll select this one because I want the spine to be controlled up to here. Okay. Parent it. So this will be twist. I'll just move this a little bit up or else I'll select. Hold day, move it a little bit down. Parent it. Now we got this one. Now select this joint, skeleton, mirror joint. Okay, when you mirror the joint, when you open the options, you'll get X, Y, Z axis. X, Y is for this character, this is wrong because generally we face our character in Z axis. So just select Y, Z, select this clavicle joint, mirror it. Same thing, select this leg joint, mirror it. right now the next option is save it now we have created our joints if you select this joint this is root joint this is legs the name they are not named they are like joint 58 or something else and see that all the rotations are zero 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 because we didn't move any we didn't rotate any joints it's always we moved it using d and all the stuff now this is what we have right now that's it for this tutorial in the next tutorial next part we'll try to work on naming this character as well as orientation and we'll take it forward gradually creating the leg controls the hand controls fkik controls the spine controls and further a little bit added information like where we do the facial rig hope you enjoyed this lesson and see you in the next tutorial bye